While we as humans are advanced enough to be able to take photos right next to Pluto, the fact that women are still not considered human beings in Saudi Arabia is unfortunately still a thing. These women might indeed have the most difficult life. Here are the 10 major restrictions these women still face. Top List presents 10 obnoxious things they still can't do. Number 10. Driving Women aren't allowed to drive a car. Yes, sadly, it's true. It isn't by law, but by religious belief that forbids it. However, in 2011, a group of Saudi women did organize a campaign called Women to Drive, which encouraged women to disregard the same and post images and videos of themselves driving on social media. It wasn't much of a success, but women can now drive their children to school or family members to the hospital. Number 9. Interacting with Men They aren't allowed to interact with men. Well, this one's kind of a no-brainer. Saudi women are supposed to limit their interaction with men they aren't related to. Unlawful mixing leads to criminal charges or public lashing against men and women, with women obviously being subjected to a tougher punishment. Number 8. Makeup They aren't allowed to wear makeup or clothing that shows off their beauty. Saudi women have a dress code governed by the Islamic law. Most women wear an abaya, a long black cloak, along with a headscarf when in public. Women who wear too much makeup are subjected to a lot of criticism. Religious police would stop them if they expose too much flesh or wear too much makeup. Number 7. Trying on clothes Continuing with Dowd's piece, the journalist also noted her guide's shock when asked if she could try a piece of clothing on. Describing his reaction, and that of many other men, she wrote, The mere thought of a disrobed woman behind a dressing room door is apparently too much for men to handle. However, it could have been a lot worse for Dowd. If she had visited the country pre-2012 and wished to browse around the lingerie shop, her experience would have been highly uncomfortable. The reason? Only men could be employed. Thankfully, in 2012, King Abdullah finally put an end to the red faces of women and ruled that men working in places selling female garments should not be allowed. Number 6. Swimming They aren't allowed to go for a swim. We really don't want to elaborate on this one. If they aren't allowed to try on clothes, how can they even put on a swimsuit and go for a swim? Actually, they are not allowed to use public swimming pools available to men and can only swim in private ones or female-only gyms and spas. Number 5. Open a bank account Women are forbidden from traveling, conducting official business, or undergoing certain medical procedures without permission from their male guardian. While the number of women working and opening their own businesses is on the rise, they face continued small frictions, requiring the assistance of male guardians to do things as simple as opening a bank account. Number 4. Compete freely in sports When Saudi women were first allowed to compete at the Olympic Games in 2012, the moral uproar it caused in their homeland led many to label the women prostitutes due to their beliefs that women should not participate in any sport. As such, those who were brave enough to compete and go against the long-winded rants of their countrymen were forced to have a male guardian accompanying them, as well as wear a Sharia-compliant sports kit that covered their hair. Number 3. Women's Loyalty During a cultural festival in Riyadh, three emirates were taken out on the grounds that they were too handsome and that the commission members feared female visitors would fall for them. One of the men who was deported from Saudi Arabia for being too sexy was identified as Omar Borkan Al-Gala. After the incident, the Facebook page for Omar, who had about 800,000 followers, disappeared for unknown reasons. Number 2. Marrying without consent Saudi women need their family's backing if they wish to marry someone. So, should they disapprove, then a wedding simply isn't going to happen. Should they get married and then later want to have a divorce, they have a much harder time of it than men, as the onus is on them to prove why the marriage is not working, and quite often the law sides with the man.
Before we move on to number one, if you're not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button and click this YouTube notification bell next to the subscribe button. Number one, voting. 2015 was the first year that Saudi women could stand for or vote in municipal elections, which gave them limited power in the council positions. Ultimate power still lies with the king of the country. Women cannot stand for or vote for higher positions of governance, although the previous king did appoint 30 women to the country's top advisory Shura Council while campaigning in the local elections. Female candidates have had to speak behind a partition or be represented by a man. There are very few elections within the country anyway, but things are slowly changing. So, what did you think of the list? If you live in any of these countries, have you seen any changes going on? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, drop us a comment, and share with your friends. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to Top List, and click the bell button to stay up to date with all our amazing videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Top List.